Hey what's up guys one sec game welcome back to my channel so today we are designing a simple practice object in solidworks by using my methods if you follow my methods then you will get simple ideas how to draw the sketch in solidworks so let's start solder interface then select all the planes and click on show this is our sketch which we need to draw so we can draw it in our front plane Firstly select front plane and click on sketch. Now draw the line or the center line. So firstly select center line. Draw the horizontal center line. another center line to get us the 45 degree reference and draw the dimension between that two center lines as 45 mm now we need to draw the r or the circle of the R2 to 5 mm give the dimension to that circle as 2 to 5 into 2 which will get the exact diameter dimension so let me trim remaining portion which we not need now Now go to the exit sketch, then go to the features, then go to the sweep boss, select the circular profile and select the thin feature and select the diameter that is outer diameter as 137 mm and thickness as, let me calculate the thickness. So. 137 minus 88 so 49 and divide by 2 will get the thickness that is 24.5 so select the thickness as 24.5 mm then select the profile which will ask it drawn so we will get the exact profile of the bend this looks like a 90 degree bend Click on OK. Now we need to draw the upper and lower flanges. As per our sketch. So select front plane and click on sketch then press ctrl 8 then choose the line command and draw the lines firstly we need to get the reference so we can select the outer circle and convert entity format then again press ctrl 8 now we will get the reference of the convert entity line so select the line and draw the line by using the line command draw the random lines so we can give exact dimension to them 
let me draw the lines let me give the dimension from the center to the vertical line as Two to five mm divided by two that is one one two point five mm and the vertical length as thirty seven mm. And again, the distance from the again horizontal line as one thirty seven mm. Divide by two. That is actually eighty eight mm. Divide by two. So we will change by eight. So we will change from that. So again double click on dimension then 88 divided by 2 click on OK. Now this is correct. So extend that line up to bottom and connect the remaining points. Then delete the reference line. Now draw the center line to revolve our object or the last stage. So center line at the center and go to the revolve boss then click on ok then we need to draw the chamfer and fillets so R15 fillet so just choose the fillet and choose the edges on which we need to draw the fillet choose the RS15 click on OK now our fillet operation is complete so we move to our next step to draw the flange at the bottom side also. So again select front plane. Now convert that bottom circle and draw the random lines to get us the profile. Randomly draw the profile. Now give the dimensions to that profile. Center to vertical line dimension is 2 to 5 divided by 2 mm which is 112.5 mm. and the object or the length of the line as 37 mm Now we need to draw the end to end dimensions from the reference line to the 
top point of the vertical line with the dimension as 47 now we need to draw the center line for the dimension reference so let me give the dimension between the center line and the center point of the circle which is 130 divided by 2 Let me draw the line from the end point. Just connect the profile and give the dimension to the vertical line from the center line as 88 mm divided by 2, which is 44 mm. Then we need to draw the center line to revolve our object firstly connect the remaining points by using line command just draw the center line at the object center now exit sketch go to the sweep boss or revolve boss go to the revolve boss choose the center line click on ok Now we need to draw the chamfers of the R15 at the edge. Then click on OK. Now choose the another R or the fillet length. Fillet R of 15 to the pipe to flange edge. Click on OK. Now our object is completed. This is our object. This is the simple method by which we can draw it. Subscribe my channel. So thank you.